Hello. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday and or I'm maybe Monday. Might be Monday for some people, too. But yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Lavi. If you're new here, I'm an Alrane. Hi, Stella. She just... She came to say hi to me specifically. She was like, Mom, not, not this shit again. Okay, I'm gonna go back. There she is. There's the fluff ball. She's here today, too. She can't make up her mind right now, though. Maybe she'll be here. I don't know. I have a feeling she might leave. That or she wants attention now that I just started talking as well. I know Stella's already being a gremlin. Are you gonna sit? Are you gonna make some biscuits and sit in your bed? She interrupted me specifically because she was like, Mom, everyone knows who you are. <laughs> Stop introducing yourself. Fine. I will skip introductions today. That's all you need to know. My name's Lavi. That's it. And that I'm a VTuber. Oh, she said no. She said no. But hi, everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. I hope the weather's been nice for you. If you're feeling icky, I hope you feel better soon. And I'm happy that you're still joining us, even if you are feeling under the weather. I hope you feel better by being here. Now she wants in my lap. What are you doing? Sniff my microphone? Really? But... Yes, hello to everyone watching live. Hello to Hiki, Bun Bun. I saw that you were puppy. So, so uh, you go by many, many, many names. And uh, Lorene and Queen, hello. Howdy. And yes, Queen, I did get Mammon's wallpaper. It's it's good. It's it's good. I also grabbed Simeon too, but I don't have his unlocked yet. But Welcome I poke him. Yo, me, 500 grim if you want to touch me. How about this? How about we make a deal, ma'am? And how about if I touch you, you get to touch me and we don't have to have any money involved, right? Is that fair? That should be fair, right? Stella, you can't sit in my lap, honey. There's no space for you right now. I have to use the keyboard. Yes, please go back onto your bed. Make those biscuits. Koro-chan... Koro Koromaru-chan wants you to sit with him. You sh So you should, right? Keep the best Persona mascot um, company, please. Making the biscuits. To be fair, I have a lot of gr I do, but that's because I've not really uh, been like pumping my cards lately. What I've mostly been doing is just leveling them up like five levels a day for dailies. <laughs> she made biscuits and then went away and now she's over here. What are you doing? Your tail is getting in front of my tracking. She was kind of being a butt earlier because um, on the weekends, I like to uh, like stay in bed for a couple hours. She was not really having it. She was yelling at me to get out of bed. What's wrong? What's wrong? You should definitely lay in there. It's comfy, isn't it? Isn't it? Scritch, scritch, scritch. Eight hundred devil points. Dang. But those really add up when you play pay VIP though, for, for real. You're using them to try and get Mammon's card. I hope you guys are able to get the cards that you want before uh, the nightmare goes away. I think it doesn't go away the same day as the event, does it? I guess we'll find out here soon. But yes, we're going to be reading the current event that is literally going to disappear at the end of the day, my time. Um, and I'm glad I was able to get on here and read to you guys before it went away i was debating if i should or not because you know the current streak record of how spotlight events and regular events have been lately they've not been very thought provoking i guess you could say at the very least but um uh, i'm glad that um i'm here with you guys to read anywho dappy hyundai Gang. Hi, Spencer. How's it going? 
Also, update Spencer on us waiting for our Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, Limited Edition. It got intercepted for some reason, even though it hit our, like, Owns Distribution Center and went all the way down to Texas. And now it's intercepted again, so, uh... My th question is, are we going to get that delivered to us in one piece before or after Arx finishes Infinite Wealth at this rate? <laughs> Your birthday's on Wednesday, Queen! Happy early birthday, just in case I forget, because I tend to forget things in general. Bun Buns is also coming up on April 1st. Hey! At least, happy birthday, early happy birthday. I'm the kind of person that would shut myself inside if my birthday was on April 1st, but I also tend to just sh shut myself inside on, on, in general, premises. You're waiting to pick up the wife from work and you're starting to think that we are cursed with mail, with the mail. I've never had such an issue with mail until now, honestly. But yes, happy early birthdays all around. Arx is still working right now. So Arx will not be in until probably when I start streaming Persona 3 Reload later today. But I've also got a... I, guys, I go into work tomorrow back into the office. And I sure hope uh, it'll be okay. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm nervous for that. On top of the fact that I actually still need to call my local courthouse number today to see if I'm going to be going to the courthouse for jury duty as well tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a day for me, but that's fine. That's tomorrow. I don't have to worry about that. Today, I'm with you guys. I'm in good company, and we're going to be reading about the boys. Hopefully, it'll be nice and fun times here for the event reading. Oh, jury duty? Yeah, uh, like a couple weeks ago in the mail, I got a summons for jury duty, and I've never done that before. <laughs> but, um, apparently, uh, you can show up and they, they can just be like, oh, you guys from numbers, like, if, if your, like, jury ID is, like, numbers blank through blank, you can go. We actually don't need you. So there's a possibility that I can show up and they're just like, yeah, thanks for showing up. You can leave now. No, 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 I didn't do anything bad. No, it's just, it's just a requirement as a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a civic duty, I think is what it would be called that you need to do. Um, Cause like, it's illegal if your job like keeps you from uh, answering the summons so I mean of course my job covers it if I if they do actually call me but um, I think my jury number is is kind of in the high ends not the low ends from what I understand if you have a number closer to to one uh, you're more likely to have to participate but I think my number is like zero five two six or something like that which is like a very high number very concerning like they didn't send out like over 500 e or 500 mail did, did they it was really weird <clears throat> but yeah uh, i have a friend actually he was telling me a little bit more about the process he's actually gotten jury du a jury duty summons three times already <laughs> And not once has he actually had to stay and like do the process. So, um, fingers crossed. I'm not, I don't have bad luck tomorrow and actually have to do it. Because depending on what case you're assigned to, you can be there all day and possibly have to do it multiple days in, in a row, you know? Your mom does it all the time. Is that her job, uh, Darkstar? Best of luck. Thank you guys. When am I going to do main story reading of 60 through 80? I have plans to start that back up once I finish Persona 3 Reload. Because doing the readings, um, like, three to four hours um, a week is almost as, as, as big as a JRPG marathon because of all of the talking I need to do and everything like that. <clears throat> Gotta sip a lot of water and tea when I do the main story readings, so... 
I have to have my stamina ready for that. Mm. Making fan art for y'all right now, you and Arcs, but they're kind of ugly looking because they're just black and white doodles. Hiki is totally fine. Hiki, I really appreciate your art and the fact that you're starting to do digital is really awesome. Hope you don't get stuck there all day. Yeah, me too, fingers crossed. Uh, hey, been binging the Obey Me readings. Hi, Samantha, welcome in. Glad to hear that. I hope you've been enjoying them a lot. Glad to have you here. No, it's just that my mom loves to take my phone. Oh, no. It's quite boring sometimes, 60 to 80. Yeah, I will say uh, season four, 60 to 80 is not my, f is probably my least favorite season out of the original four seasons of the OG Obey Me game, but oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Do you have any favorite boyos yet, Samantha? You're only on lesson 37. You have an extremely long way to go. I know, yeah, the difficulty curve really shoots up in OG Obey Me. I want to say Nightbringer is probably easier, um, just based off of what I've already played. Mostly because I'm better at rhythm games than the way that they have the gameplay set up for OG Obey Me. I just wanted to pop in. You do need to go. Wanted to let you know I appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much, Samantha. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, have a good rest of your day. And yes, definitely. Thank you for dropping by. You love Satan and Diablo? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Gotta stick together. But yeah, thank you, thank you. You always focus on the events rather than the lessons. The events do give you good stuff. Let's be honest. So it's, it's not like you're really behind if you're doing an event or lessons, because I feel like if you focus on events, you get the materials to help you get further into the main story as well so don't think that you're behind just because you're only doing one and not both you know uh, they're both not easy especially because they just dropped all of the lessons at once because they updated so fast oh for nightbringer yeah they really were pushing them out for season two but i think they've taken a bit of a break now at least when i log in they're not like hey this new lesson's out <laughs> better catch up loser your mom's calling you. Answer. Answer your mother hair. Lorene. <laughs> and dark stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be doing Dust Storm Panic, which is a Barbato Spotlight event. Um, again, uh, it's not shown on here in game, but the socials had the stamp that said that Barbatos is in the spotlight. So he is the spotlight <clears throat> for today. The uh, details, which is the stuff that we get. Actually, I'm going to click cards first and then go to nightmare. So I know exactly what's going on. Uh, the UR you get is, of course, going to be a Barbatos uh, card with Barbatos live with the skill overcoming with emotions. I'm not I'm not getting this card. I've been slacking. I've missed a couple of days because of the whole like um, job stuff going on on my end so i i have not been i've not been grinding which is unfortunate because i like this card i like verbatos just just it just was not the right time for me to be able to get him um then the ur skill card or demon memory card is love and riddles with the skill the hint by your side with is that i think that's luke in the back based off the color um mammon and satan with a bunch of flowers i really like the the background the flowers and the special effects for this card we already got the reward card congrats you're just playing for ranking now oh i hope you managed to get a, a high ranking reward distribution thing um, then we have our regular SSR, which is Smile in Bloom with Solomon and Asmo with the skill I want to make you happy. I like these cards. They've got flowers in them. Aside from Barbatos' card, which is a little weird, but um, any cards with flowers in it is an automatic plus for me. I'm not biased. Nope. 
Your mom was just asking if you were okay because you were home alone. We're okay, guys. Oh, okay, okay. That's sweet of your mom. Then, alongside the event rewards, excuse me, I, I've only been up for a couple hours, so I'm still trying to wake up. And I had pizza. That might be a little hiccupy a little bit. But, um... The uh, corresponding nightmare banner we have alongside this event is time to create a game with the first ever um, premium pictures, is what they're calling it. Premium pictures for your home screen that you can set uh, with uh, Solomon, or not Solomon, Simeon, excuse me, and Mammon looking respectfully. Nice choice, nice choice devs. So we have a UR Plus Betting Big Mammon card with the skill I'll Die You in My Color. I have not had the chance to read the uh, Devil Graham stories yet for these. I need to. I'm interested. Uh, then we've also got the UR Plus Welcome to My Ink Studio Simeon card with the skill Making Ink With You. I actually think when it comes to not counting their special pictures or premium pictures, um, I think I prefer Simeon's artwork compared to Mammon's. Little D in Mammon's though is super cute, but I think I like the painted style more, just in my opinion. But Simeon also has his own Little D, but we all know that this one is Little D number two for sure. It has to be, it has to be Mammon's son that's with him in this card. It would not make sense if it wasn't. Then the SSR we have is in-game punishment Lucifer card with the skill punishment for all of you, which I don't have. Surprisingly. Oh. I think I pulled him in uh, OGO baby, not Nightbringer. But it doesn't it doesn't look like he's got a BGM. But I think I'm okay if I don't pull him in this one. They also decided to run a uh, re-release, the future one which I managed to get the SSR out of, so I'm happy. I did another pull of that because I missed that one, and that that one, the SSR is Solomon that comes with a BGM. And then the twins are still running. I'm actually surprised they're still running, birthday-wise. But yeah. Oh, there's their banner ends today. Okay, that makes sense now. And then this one ends, when does it end? The day after? Bra. Could have given us like a, another a couple days, please. Let people pull. Please. Also, I still do not enjoy the ticket exchange uh, thing that they implemented, but oh well. Oh, Darkstar had to leave. Bye. I hope you have a good day. Yes, the flowers are pretty. I, uh, I'm sending you guys good juju hopefully even though my phone is being a little whack my tracking is being a little whack but i hope you guys are able to pull for mammon or simian you love the ca uh, cards because of the little d's that, ap that appear they carry the cards so hard they are really good i'm gonna hold the um i'm gonna hold on to the rest of my uh stuff um, because I have a feeling, now that they're doing these premium pictures, that they might do a Satan or a Diavolo one soon, and I don't want to miss out on, uh, on them. Otherwise, I would consider pulling, um, in Bel- Beale and Belfie's, um, uh, birthday ones. But I'm still sore that I didn't get the Diavolo birthday card. I would rather save and try to pull him again, even though I have to wait until October for that to pop back up. Hi, Natsu! How's it going? Is, uh, are you and Hannah still playing Kiwami? I was lurking in there. I didn't want to say too much and look too much because spoilers, because I still need to do Kiwami myself, but I think I'm going to do Kiwami after, uh, I platinum lost judgment and do the Kaito files. Get my, try and get my butt caught up so I can finally play, uh, Infinite Wealth <laughs> without feeling bad. Uh, on OG Yobami, you have the Luke with the King of Hearts, something like that. I don't think I have that card. We need more Luke cards. Also, 
on the on the topic of Luke, I'm still super upset he's not gotten a spotlight event. We need a chill, like, cute, adorable event with Luke to separate some of the some of the womp womps that's been going on with the events lately. Yeah, I think we're ending soon, though. Have fun with Kaito Files. Yes, yes. My aim is to not next weekend, but maybe the weekend afterwards. Or actually, maybe, okay, so maybe, maybe next Saturday, I can slam an endurance stream of legendary difficulty of Lost Judgment and get the platinum. And then the weekend after that, do Kaito Files or something like that. Or maybe, so I found out my work is actually allowing two days of work from home. So maybe I can stream uh, after some work from home days too. We'll see. Yes, I need an event with Luke. I know. I feel like everybody needs it at least at least once. Like give the give the little lad something, please. It doesn't always have to be uh, the brothers and the older adults. Just a question: Do I play Project Sekai? I don't. I know some people in the Discord do, and. I have been possibly been told to do a live stream hand cam of Project Sekai. <laughs> uh, maybe I will. The thing is, is if I'm gonna play Project Sekai, I think I need to play it on my phone and not my iPad. One, because my iPad is already full of, uh, its space is like totally gone. Second, my iPad is big and I'm not used to playing uh, rhythm games on something bigger than a phone like size. Because three, I am a thumb. I use my thumbs. I'm a thumb player. And Iggy told me that that's probably not going to be a very good. I'm not going to have a good time if I try to play with my thumbs on an iPad. <laughs> Takes like eight gigabytes. Uh, I have. I'm pretty sure no. Okay, so look, 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 look. So, see all these games I have? What in Hell is Bad, Tears of Themis, Cookie Run, Arcana Twilight, Ayakashi, and Disney Twisted Wonderland. I can't even play them. They're uh, uploaded to the cloud because I have no space. The only three games that I have on here is Obey Me Nightbringer, Obey Me OG, and <laughs> Love in Deep Space. <laughs> I am literally your girl full up on here. But, yeah, um, I could do Project Sekai on my phone. I, I know. <laughs> Space issues suck so bad for Apple games. <laughs> for Apple, uh, Apple stuff because they, they, they don't allow uh, an external um, SD card for space. That's like the biggest, biggest downside to using uh, Apple products is the fact they won't let you do that. But yeah, I, I could go through and lower some space on here, but I really do think if I'm gonna do that, I would play uh, on my phone and just like hand cam and like turn off my, um, turn off my, uh, uh, my microphone uh, filter so you can still hear the music and everything. I think that's how I'm going to do the setup if I do uh, Project Sekai. Species, species use are, are the worst. They really are. You have like 20 games on your phone, but you only play three of them and your memory is already almost full. Yeah, I need to see where my phone memory is. I've not had my phone yell at me compared to my iPad, but... You can play if you want to, though. It's fun, but it's also a pain when you don't combo. I used to play some Love Live rhythm games and Idler 7 back when I had a Google or an Android phone. Uh, I played the crap out of Idler Idolish 7, but I had the JP version because there's no official English version of Idolish 7's uh, app. So since I switched over to, you know, iPhone, it's harder to play the region locked games unfortunately i miss my idolish 7 account <laughs> this is one of the few games i paid money uh app games i played paid money for for pools and stuff like that 
You're on PC? Wait, you can play Project Sekai on PC? That's neat. But I think I would still prefer to use my fingers. I also played... I've played Osu before, which was fun. The whiplash of a nice lavy art to a naked man in shower. I, I'm sorry. Some degen business over here when I play my Oh Baby. You were going to start Genshin, but you barely have time for the games I already played. I felt feel that right now, Queen. Why I force myself to spin the wheel on Wednesdays on Twitch to try and play stuff I haven't been keeping up with. <gasps> Phantom Glacian, you are summoning for uh, Ar Arcaron? I don't know if I said that right. On Thursday. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Genshin takes up 300. Uh, thir wait, 33 gigabytes on your phone. And I'm I know it take Genshin takes up so much space. If you tried downloading it on your phone, it would explode. I don't know how some of you guys can play Genshin on your phone. It would drive me insane. I want to play Honkai Star Rail, but Genshin is just... Mm. I prefer Honkai over Genshin. Or specifically Star Rail over Genshin right now. But I'm still behind on both of them. But yeah, I would... It's not that I don't want to play Project Sekai. I would definitely be interested because I love playing rhythm games. It's just starting something new that is a live service. Freaks me out because I know I'm not going to keep up. However, I feel like Project... How how story-centered like centered is Project Sekai? Because... I didn't pay attention to any of the Love Live story stuff for their games since they already had... A, uh, since they already had everything in an anime. But when I started playing Idolish 7, they hadn't announced an anime yet, and the story was so good in the, uh, in the, uh, in the app. Um, but then they did the anime, and I'm like, yes, it's almost one-to-one -one with the story in the app. There's just a couple things that they left out, but I still highly recommend the anime if you love boys and you like idols. But it's not always fluffy, fluffy. You downloaded Genshin on your tablet, and you knew it would take up your phone memory, but you still haven't played it. <laughs> there are events with stories and main stories. Okay, okay. Night Chord at 25, which is one of the group's units, probably has the most lore. All right, got you. So. There's an, uh, I don't think there, there's not a Project Sekai anime, is there? It's kind of in the same, like, boat as Idol 7 was, like, five years ago, I think, I want to say. Man, my phone be having issues today. In 25 is just depression, you choose whoever catches your eye. <laughs> interested in it too because of Kaito. I need me some more Kaito in my life. Oh, they announced the Project Sekai anime. Let's go. Let's go. Because I also played Project Diva for the PS3 when they ported it from arcade over Project Diva and Project Diva F. Um, I also played Suki Uta. So I'm not unfamiliar about the jams. Just don't ask me to use my feet to play a rhythm game, because I'm very uncoordinated. I cannot DDR to save my life. Let me go ahead and start the readings. We can keep talkings too, but... Dancing in the dust. Aito, I think, is in every group now. <gasps> uh, don't take my word for it. I play both JP and Ian, and if I've lost track of who is where. Good. DDR is a death sentence. Funny enough, Arx is actually pretty good at DDR. We gonna get to the reading now? Okay, thank you, iPad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my iPad was like, you guys have been talking for 40 minutes. Are you actually gonna read? What if I just take my time? You guys can keep talking. Of course he is. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, he would... He would still like to do DDR. I'm, I'm sure he's not as good as he used to be because, you know, he's older. He's got some old man uh, 
old manness now in him and stuff, but he still he still played it even despite having asthma. What's DDR? It's Dance Dance Revolution, Ivy. So it's it they're mostly arcade machines, but there's a giant dance pad on the floor that you step on arrows to play. So that's your feet rhythm game right there. Lavi, I found you at the perfect time. Would you be so kind as to spare me some of your time after class today? Are you asking me out on a date, Des? Date? <laughs> <laughs> you may think that, if it pleases you. So I'll take that as a yes, as you don't mind. To see you enjoy yourself in such a way would be a pleasure. So that's a yes. A that's a that's a loose confirmation of a of a day. Uh, I have terrible rhythm. I would. I think I would say the same when it comes to feet, feet stuff. I mean, I have danced. Don't get me wrong. But unless I'm like shown a specific way to dance, I'm just gonna shepherd shuffle. Um, the main protag from Mass Effect, Shepard, yeah, he's got his own dance called the Shepard Shuffle. That's what I would be doing. I shall come after you after after your uh, classes are finished. Or, I mean, I will come for you. Or, no, after you is a little aggressive for Barbatos. <laughs> Alright, I'll go and meet you. Oh, yeah. You will. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be waiting. Eh. Oh, I should tell you where to go. Meet me at the Magic Sporting Goods Store, Magic Shuttle Run. <laughs> <laughs> I will come. Uh, I will come for you after class. Get a running head start. <laughs> Can you? Uh, I mean, I don't think. I wouldn't mind being pursued by Barbatos either. Let's be really here. <laughs> they have a wide assortment of magical sporting goods there. I believe you will enjoy it. I'm actually not a big sports fan. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Like the last spotlight for Barbatos was the Fangle Bowl. And like out of all of the demons available to be a sports fan, I did not expect Barbatos to be as much of a sports fan as they have shown him to be in that event. And apparently in this event too now. <laughs> <clears throat> iPad wake up. iPad iPad has also been acting up today because before I started the stream, I was trying to change my home screen music and it just would not do it. Um I had to like exit and reopen the the iPad for it to change. iPad is gonna yeah. be EP. I apologize everybody for for iPad not doing its job. I, it probably got upset about me talking about how it has no space and now it was like you know what you're right I don't have any space which means I should run slower oh Lavi yeah Barbato see you here too never thought I'd see you here eh. indeed are you two looking for something mm. Beal asked me to pick up the new fangled ball that he ordered. It's a Steel Falcon limited edition ball. Oh. When Asmodeus told me he was going to the Magic Sporting Goods store, I wanted to tag along and see what kind of place it was. Wait, this place sells cursed items? A cursed item? <laughs> I totally get that feeling too. Huh? Really? Maybe I should keep my hands to myself, then. Yeah. Hmm? What the... Why are all these items gathering around Lavi? Oh no, what did we do? This really is... <laughs> I heard you were talking shit about me. Yes. <laughs> Werewolf, thank you so much for the good luck. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate you. Mm. 
Man, I sure hope we haven't attracted all these sports items. That would be weird. That would be a weird setup. Hi everyone. Hi, Morato. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. We just started reading. I had a lot of had a lot of talksies earlier. Uh, my iPad's also running a little slow today. <laughs> As you can see. Oh yeah. Oh dear, it appears as though the magic goods here have all taken a liking to Lavi. I am not gonna pay for all of these goods to follow me outside the store. I could afford it, but I don't want to. Meh. Hey, this ball is trying to jump up and grab onto the edge of Lavi's uniform. Hey, hey, hey. Bad touch. Meh. Trying to get a bite of Lavi, are you? I don't think so. What? Oh. Whoa, they're starting to jump onto me now. No, protect Luke. He does not need to be a uh, dog piled on by a bunch of sporting <laughs> goods. <laughs> what is going? If you want something to, to ch if you want to chew on something, chew on my uniform or tell Luke to fight them off. That's kind of funny, but at the same time, I don't want to leave him to have to fight them off by himself. Whatever, you can eat my uniform, I guess. I'll just ask you of a loaf for an extra one. Yeah. No, I won't let them go after you, too. Perhaps they'd like to play with this flaming baton instead. Yo, Barbados beat the shit out of them. <laughs> hey, the balls ran away from the fire. Barbados, you're really good at spinning that flaming b baton around. Yada. Oh no, look at the time. I'm going to be late for my nail appointment. Okay, good of you to just flee, Asmo. Oh. I just remembered I have to pick up some things for Simeon while I'm out. Wait, what? Okay, bye. Mata ne. See you two later. Sareta. Watch out for those bitey balls. <laughs> bitey balls. I'm an adult. It was nice to see those two in such high spirits. Now, shall we go find what we came here for? What are we here for again? Wait, I don't think he ever told us. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Speaking of which, I have yet to tell you why we are here. Jitsua. As per the orders of the young master, I was assigned the task of planning and organizing a cross-country race, sponsored by Rad. Hmm. Oh, perhaps I should begin by explaining to you what a devil dumb cross-country race entails. Is it different than a regular one? I've never attended or participated in cross-country, but... When I was a young plant back in school, I had considered possibly doing track and field except i don't think i don't think my high school had track and field or if they did they really didn't advertise it uh especially soccer i didn't realize we technically had a soccer team until my senior year all my school ever preached about was football <laughs> football and band so i didn't really realize there were other things outside of those two a cross Country race in the human world is a sport in which individuals run a race on open air courses over natural terrain such as dirt or grass. Cross country races in the Devildom are more or less the same, however. Yeah. No, perhaps I should leave it at that. What does that mean? What? Ominous. What's wrong? You seem to be thinking very hard about something. Are you realizing something you didn't before? Yeah. Forgive me for being rude. I thought that rather than explaining further, there may be a better way to convey this information. I believe that experiencing a, a, a I cannot say cross country race firsthand would be much more beneficial. Beneficial. Yeah. The demon's cross country race is going on this weekend. I'd like you to enter it together with me. I am now concerned. Me too. Oh, yeah. I seem to have gotten off topic. No, no, no. How is that off topic? 
That's not off topic. It's still related to the thing we need to buy because it's related to the thing we're going to participate in. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Bad topic change. Today, we've come here to look for and inspect gear that we can potentially use for Rad's upcoming cross-country race. You'll find that our cross-country race differs slightly from what you may be used to. Racers will still require all the necessary gear, such as gloves, boots, hats, compasses, and so on. Eh? Oh wait, you want me to use a compass? Uh-oh. That also includes equipment and tools needed to protect oneself during the race. Protect. I would like to choose these items together. Protect? Is this like going to be like a race where you can attack each other? Uh, I need to put my tea back on my tea warmer. <clears throat> it's not as hot as I would like it to be. Guess Barb's will need to carry us. Man, I sure hope he can. I mean, I sure hope he will. I would like to see him bridal style carry us while fending off other contestants. <clears throat> Della is in her bed finally, yes. Let me see if I can get a little closer to the feline. Oh, good girl. Please take a look around and tell me if you find something that you think we might need. Um, what exactly is going to happen during this race? <laughs> <laughs> you do not need to worry. I will protect you should anything happen. Oh, I, your smile is so comforting, comforting sir. Oh, yeah. These gloves are for mountain climbing. Mm. They seem to like you judging by how they're grabbing onto your sleeve like that. Why? What? Why? Yeah. These gloves have sharp nails that extend from the tips and are rather useful. They may come in handy during the race. I would actually rather use that than the traditional way of mountain climbing with the whole rope thing and stuff. That stuff makes me nervous. Please, let me buy them for you. <laughs> I shall buy a pair for myself so that we may match during the race. Oh, that's cute. Maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe this won't be so bad. I like to think so. It's Barbatos. What's the worst that could happen? I don't remember anything bad happening to us. In the last, uh, the last event that he was spotlighted. Uh, well, he did throw a ball at our face. But it was cute. <laughs> I enjoyed participating in the Demon's Cross Country race with you, Lavi. Wait, we did it? Wait, what? What do you... Wh Excuse me? I thought the entire event was going to be us doing the race. Wait, what? Eh. I was able to gather valuable information while traversing the various routes, such as the maze in the jet black forest and crossing the ice flows of the frozen wasteland mountain. What? We went into a frozen mountain? Okay, what the heck is the rest of the event gonna be about? The experience I've gathered will help me tremendously with the preparations for Rad's own cross country race. Oh, okay, no, okay. Wait, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a little confused. So what we did is we participated in the Demon's Cross Country Race for <clears throat> research. We're still doing the, the, the rad one. Okay, that makes sense. I want to form a preparation committee for this. Will you join the committee as my right hand, Lavi? Uh, yeah, sure. I was waiting for you to ask. Oh, yeah. Your face tells me that you saw right through me as soon as I told you about the cross-country race. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me despite knowing all along. Well, I still don't know. I'm still... I still don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> hmm. I'd like to implement elements from the race we ran last weekend into Rad's race, in addition to our own unique routes. 
First, let's gather some more members for our committee. Then we can go over the various routes for the race. Also, okay, I, I have one concern. If we're organizing, if we're helping to organize how Rad's uh, cross-country race is going to be, how are we still allowed to participate? Because we know the routes and everything, right? Isn't that technically like cheating? Because we know, we know where things are going to be. Again, I've never participated in a cross-country race, but I would think that committee members should not be allowed to participate in the own race in which they uh, helped prepare. Also, hello, uh, Samir, Sim, Samir, 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 I hope I said that right. But hello, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for joining us. I assume the others will know. Oh, so like, like, like they hand out pamphlets and they, they that have exactly where the routes are going to be and everything. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, that makes more sense. Because I think the closest thing I've ever participated in yeah. that would, that includes possible running would be like, um, like a walk for charity or something like that but i haven't done something like that in a very very long time and you weren't forced to run you were forced to complete it at your own pace because it, i don't really think they had any rewards for like people that actually or for people that ended up like in first place or something like that because it was all just to like help promote good health and and everything like that and they had like their own water stations and everything it's Samar, it's okay, don't worry. Oh, thank you. I will remember. I will remember that. Also, hello, Marato. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good today. And thank you very much for joining us. After some reaching out, Satan, Asmodeus, Luke, Solomon, and Raphael have agreed to join the preparation committee. Of course, Satan would do it. I'm surprised Asmo wants to do the preparation committee, though. Hmm. Huh? Creating a race course that makes use of the natural terrain found throughout the Devil Dum sounds like an interesting project. Mm. I figured that our little meeting at Magic Shuttle Run was a sign. Ah, uh, I see. I see, I see. Oh, I'll do anything for Lavi. Oh. You know what I need to add? I need to add a sound button that does a collective aw noise. Where is that? I need to add that to my soundboard. <laughs> Let's see. Aww. Oh, there we go. That works. Oh. <laughs> Domo. I'm here to look after Luke. Oh, really? That's right, because Solomon's on the team, but Simeon isn't. The Solomon would not. <laughs> Solomon would not look after Luke. Mm. I can only imagine the kind of dangers that come with a cross-country race across the devil them. Oh, he just wants to see people eat shit. <laughs> Solomon? Mm. I'll ensure that all participants are safe. Uh-huh, safe in quotation marks. <laughs> we have to look out for fire dragons. <laughs> What do you mean? Ah. The breath from a fire dragon is so hot, they say that it can melt volcanic rock. Ayo. Douse me in that. No. A and fire dragons are going to be near the race? Soreja. Lavi and I will cast a protective spell over the racers. <laughs> 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 There's a certain thrill that comes from having guaranteed protection. I think this race is going to be a huge hit. You're you're telling me you're more willing to fuck around and find out if you know that you can't be hurt, Asmo. <laughs> dwagon, yeah, dwagons. Can we keep a dragon as a pet if we see one? I bet we could get one to get one to happen. I mean, if our natural like uh what is the word? Um <sighs> 
It's not Jane Doe. It's, oh, Mary Sue. If our natural Mary Sue charm doesn't work on the dragon, we could at least beg Asmo to charm it. <laughs> there we go, instant dragon pet. We came to scope out some terrain for the mountain route. Uh. But these are cliffs. Uh. In general, there are no safe routes in a cost cross crunchy race hosted in the Devildom. <laughs> you should try it sometime. I love the thrill of danger. Hmm? Lavi, you said that you recently participated in the Demon's Cross Country Race, didn't you? With Barbatos. <laughs> Is that a problem? Honey bun. Are you are you are you jealous? Eh. Yes, we were gathering information that we could use for Rad's race. <sighs> Are you sure you weren't simply there to have a good time? Oh, my baby boy's jealous. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cute. Aww. Oh, yeah. I am always looking out for Lavi's best interests, no matter the situation. This time is no different. Was that a yes or is that a no? <laughs> if I happened to enjoy myself at the same time, that simply came with the territory. Yo! <laughs> Damn, that was good. I'm sorry, Satan, but uh, you got it. That mm, he clapped back at you pretty hard. I'm sorry. Yare, yare. Good grief, you're impossible. Oh, he did the yare, yare, does it? <laughs> If safety isn't a concern, then perhaps that cliff over there would be better. Hmm? It's a near straight incline. No, it's inverted. The top half hangs over the bottom half of the cliff. Oh. Or that rock wall with the jagged rocks at the bottom? Oh. One wrong step and you end up skewered. Leave it to a spear enthusiast to spot that obstacle. <laughs> Hmm. While Raphael's choices for this route are indeed challenging, I fear that the number of participants with the capabilities required to clear it are few. Eh? Let's search for a cliff that is a little less life-threatening. We could just make a hard route. Can we, like, offer two routes? The baby route and the life-threatening route? There's no in-between? I would assume some, uh, some actual, like, running routes have multiple options on how to take the route, right? I'm fine as long as someone's carrying me. <laughs> I agree. I agree with Queen. Everything's fine as long as someone's carrying me. Don't let Luke join this. Yeah, I, uh... Kind of... I kind of am hoping Luke does not actually join, but the fact that Raphael is here, I think, might help that if he does have to. <laughs> How is scouting out the mountain route? I heard that Raphael kept choosing all the inverted cliffs. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Raphael is the one that's making the route harder. Now I'm... Now I am concerned. Never mind. He came here saying that he was here to look out for Luke, but he's actively trying to make the whole route harder. <laughs> oh. Huh? Really? Hmm. He seems to have gotten the idea in his head that cross-country races in the Devildom must be dangerous as a rule. Well, he isn't entirely incorrect. Hmm. That sounds a lot like Sir Raphael, sir. I'm gonna call him Sir now. We found some great spots to place the plains route. Hmm. The Demon Whirlpool River separates the Forest of Ambivalence. Holy shit! How do you know that word? And the Forest of Wonders up ahead. This would be a great place to rest, don't you think? Eh. Good idea. We can confirm where each racer stands in the race by creating a checkpoint. Let's establish a rest area here. Hi. I thought we might take a break to eat somewhere, so I made a lunch for you, Lavi. Oh, Luke. 
This is actually a Luke spotlight event. <laughs> He's being so sweet and considerate. <laughs> what if they disguised this actually as a Luke spotlight, e <laughs> spotlight event? <laughs> I was concerned the moment fire dragons were brought up, yeah. Why don't we try out the new rest area and take a break here? Mm. I brought some takeout from Hell's Kitchen for lunch. I got some for you, you too, Lavi. Oops. Oh yeah. Uh, too much food. Wait, what? Oh, what a coincidence. I also came with a prepared lunch for Lavi. Uh oh. Jokes on you guys. Reverse Uno. I also brought lunches for every single person. Ha ha. Take that. <laughs> we were all thinking the same thing. <laughs> I want to eat your lunch, Lavi. Deva. Why don't we lay out all the lunches and eat them together? Yes. I always feel energized after a good lunch. Let's prepare lots of nutritious and yummy food for the racers at the rest area. I'm glad they at least decided to put in a rest area. I was a little concerned. Like I half, I half, I half had a feeling that like because it's the devil of them that there were <laughs> there were no rest areas. <clears throat> Huge picnic time, indeed. We don't tell Beale that we had this happen, though. <laughs> he would be very upset if he found out that we had all this food without him. <clears throat> It's actually starting to be really good weather over here for picnics. <clears throat> Picnic time, excuse me. <clears throat> I have something in my throat. <clears throat> just, dr just drink more tea. Bill would definitely be sad. I think I actually need to look up when my town's uh, cherry blossom and kite flying festival is. Because we do have that kind of soon-ish. Our weather's still kind of been really weird. It's been like okay during the day, but it gets kind of freezing at night. So we're still kind of in our second winter, our false spring. Stay hydrated. Yes, uh, I am <clears throat> having some tea here. I didn't grab any water. I might do that if I keep having to clear my throat. The day of Rad's cross-country race has finally come. <laughs> we were able to get everything organized in time thanks to you, Lavi. So everyone is participating in the race except for Lavi and Barbatos, right? Wait, what? What do you mean we're not participating? I want to be carried by Barbatos while running away from a dragon. A cherry blossom festival? Yeah, I don't think... Uh, so my town has a, uh, um, a Japanese garden, uh, tucked away I in a park. So, like, we have this huge park. And then near the back, past some like playground equipment and stuff, is a Japanese uh, garden, which we do have a a fall Japanese festival, but it's usually super duper hot. Um, but the kite flying, cherry blossom slash pinata festival, is in like the spring or like right when summer is about to start, but it's not inside of the garden. Um, it takes place uh, on all of the park area before that, that they have started doing. So I would be more inclined to do that sometimes than like the fall festival because it's not really fall weather when they do it. It's still like super hot. Um, even though, like, there's a lot more events, like performers and stuff that perform on stage and vendors and stuff like that. But, like, I say Cherry Blossom Fest, Cherry Blossom loosely because, uh, they're not really, like, 
Like the trees are definitely blooming, but they're not like, the petals and stuff aren't really like showering down anywhere and, and stuff like that. It's, it's majority like pinata and kite flying. Um, usually you'll do picnicking while watching all of the kites in the sky and stuff like that. Like I, I would actually want to go to Japan at some point during their cherry blossom season to see all the petals like um, on the floor and everything like that because we don't have the it, like our cherry blossoms aren't the pink ones they're they're more like white so they don't really like shed if that makes sense <laughs> damn it's cherry blossom season now i know every time i see pictures of japan's cherry blossom season it makes me so envious i'd want to go and see I'd want to go to Kyoto, but I... Okay, so I found out recently, though, um, some districts of Japan are not allowing foreign tourists access to them anymore because of how some rude foreigners have been lately. Um, like, a specific area in Kyoto is not allowing foreigners anymore because they are being rude to the geishas that walk around. Like... Uh, messing with their kimonos and like pulling their hair and stuff like that which like bro what the hell they're not <laughs> they are not a doll for you to play with they're real people just because their culture is different doesn't allow you permission to like invade their privacy yeah you heard about that too yeah it's unfortunate that it pisses me off I'll be honest like um like I know culture shock is a thing and everything and, and like, like being stunned, uh, seeing things in real person, but you know, act your age, act like a responsible person, you know, like, uh, cause like my sister, I think I brought this up before, but she, um, she recently went to South Korea for, um, her choir singing, um, college travels she brought back some snacks for me which i've gone through a majority of them they they were really good um but she had culture shock when she went there um but she really enjoyed being there um there were some things that she didn't have time to do like i asked her i was like did you try any boba there and she was like no and i was like but it's it's jeju she went to jeju uh south korea and like clearly like their menus and stuff are a lot different than here in the US, but uh, my sister conducted herself like a, a person, you know? Some people need to learn to respect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just makes it, it makes makes it worse for everybody else. Uh, other foreigners takes takes a uh, whole um, experiences away from us when they act like that. Pretty sure even third graders would act more respect respectful than their na than those nasty adult tourists. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's not like we haven't heard um, people being nasty for clout in foreign countries before, but like, I figured that that trend would have dipped off already. You know what I mean? But I guess not. Which just sucks. Makes all foreigners look bad when we're not all like that. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I understand, though. Like, I would rather, if it's, like, such a concern, I would rather them place such policies and laws and restrictions than not do anything at all. Um, but at the same time, I find it ironic that they would place those policies in when, like... Um, stalking is still a huge issue and like there's no there's there's not a good escalation or way to handle that in comparison does that make sense have to get going have a nice day bye Natsu have a good day good rest of your day thank you for dropping by it, yeah it is better for them to be safe but I feel like stalking is still a higher 
prevalent issue than like the foreigner thing. I wish they would also consider like raising the or escalating how to handle stalking <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's being preventive, preventative, which is understandable. Yeah, I wish there was more ways to to handle stalking prevention in a similar way, I think is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, it's unfortunate. Hopefully they can lift those restrictions later, later on. People need to get a grip of, of themselves. All right, I guess we're not doing the race. Let's see. Yeah. That's right. Labby and I will be overseeing the race. Aw, Pui. Yeah. Huh? Solomon, you're participating too? Mm. I've cast spells throughout the entire race as a precaution. I've also cast a protective spell over the racers. If they encounter danger along any of those routes, Lavi will be alerted right away. Deva. Lavi, give the signal to begin the race whenever you are ready. Okay, there better be some shenanigans that me and Barbatos need to handle. <laughs> All right, on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> if I'm participating, then I might as well try and win. Ooh, you got this. I hope you win, Satan. Watch Luke end Sorry, up yeah. winning. I wonder who will cross the finish line first. Let us watch how the race unfolds. Man, okay. All right, we are at the endings splits. So we're gonna choose the bottom one as per usual since it's the common route. <laughs> Stella won, rewrite. Stella won just by being cute. Isn't that right, baby? Isn't that right? Lim, lim, lim. How do you feel being the winner, Stella? She's thinking about it. <laughs> hey, good girl. Oh, it's little D number two! This is an emergency message coming to you live. A giant demon centipede is on a rampage along the forest route. Yo, what? Hmm. Giant demon centipedes are easily over a mile long in size. They're highly poisonous. One sting could be life-threatening. Dude. Uh, we need to go to the forest, then. Eh? You're right. The rest of the committee may are already there waiting for us. They're helping the racers evacuate as we speak. Let's hurry. Wait, does that mean like the, the wait the, in the common route? Does the does the race not even finish? This is the race getting canceled because of this giant centipede. Where is Inuyasha when you need him to slay it? I am not a fan of bugs. Have I said that before? Here comes the danger, indeed. What if I ride on the centipede's back and win the race that way? <laughs> I think that counts, right? As long as you cross the finish line, that's all that matters, I think. Whoa. Whoa! Just how many legs do these things have? We're going to be trampled! I can stop it with my spears. Oh yeah, just sh sh shish kapah, but the centipede. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, -uh. you'll end up smiting all of us in the process. Uh. We seem to have destroyed its nest while making the race course. Oh, <gasps> oops. Mm -mm. Right, I get it. We're the bad guys here, but those creepy crawly legs are giving me goosebumps. Mm. It would be great if we could find a way to calm it down so we can talk, but it won't listen to anything in the angry state that it's in now. Harm it, Asmo. Oh? Lavi, you look like you've got an idea. Wait, what? We'll fight centipede with centipede. We'll challenge it to a centipede race. Wait, what? Are we... 
Are we gonna become a demon, angel, human centipede? Please no. Please no. Huh? You mean like a centipede race? Yeah. I'm surprised you know what that is, Luke. Mm. Oh, well, I heard about them from Sir Raphael before and it got me curious. Yeah. The giant devil centipede has accepted our challenge. How are we doing this? How are we doing <laughs> Uh... Uh... Well, it's great that the giant devil centipede has accepted our challenge. Can we really win without any practice at all? Mm. Keeping all seven of our legs in sync while tied together at the ankle isn't going to be easy. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's a lot better image than what I was thinking it was going to be. Okay, so it's just a three-legged race, except instead of three legs, it's seven. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's already accepted our challenge. We've got no choice but to try. Luke, are you sure you're not a little excited to try a centipede race for the first time? No. N no way. That's not it at all. Eh. It three three-legged racing is kind of a kids game. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we continue to do nothing, the giant devil centipede will cause great damage. Oh. That's a lot of damage. If we win and it agrees to leave quietly, then I say it's our best chance. These goofballs won't be able to coordinate well enough. I agree. But come on, everybody. Where's your backbone? You're a bunch of demons. And an, and two angels. Oh. And a sorcerer. Yeah, you heard Lavi. Let's win. Ah. It seems we don't have any choice. So then let's tie our legs together and get ready for the race. Oh, we're gonna fall on our faces. We're gonna dogpile on top of each other. That or we're gonna cheat. I have a feeling we might end up cheating. But since there's only this chapter and like one other left, I don't think the cross country race is going to be finished, guys. Yes. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Joto matte. Satan, you stepped on my foot. Yeah. That wasn't me, it was Solomon. I was like, how dare you blame him? I think he knows how to dance. I can see Solomon doing it. Eh? Uh huh. But the hand on my shoulder has nails painted the same color as yours, Satan. If it's not yours, then is it the ghost of Satan? He's not dead. Mm. I'm not sure where our hands are supposed to be placed exactly, but this isn't working very well. Ano, ne? Can we stop moving our legs at the same time for now? Mm. If we lose balance, then Luke is the most likely to get hurt at the front. I'm sure Lavi will do whatever they can to protect him, though. Yeah, I'm gonna protect my baby boy. <laughs> Let's change our chant or we need to unify our minds. <laughs> we need to unify our minds. I don't know if that's a good idea either, because that means everybody's thoughts are gonna be like... Everyone can hear everybody's thoughts. I don't think I want to hear Asmo's thoughts. <laughs> Oh. That's right. Everyone needs to focus on the same thing. We'll turn that into our chant and become one. Oh, okay. I thought we were literally going to use magic to, like, mind meld everybody to be able to work together. Okay. That's fine. That's This is better. That's a better option. What is something that we all think about? Ah. I can only think of one thing. Don't think about me. Eh. Lavi is the word. No, please don't chant my name to win this fucking race. <laughs> this is ridiculous.
<laughs> All right, now, guys. <laughs> La is one foot and V is the other foot. Got it? <laughs> I was going to say bobbles personally. <laughs> Close enough, right? <laughs> that would probably be the next word, right? <laughs> How did we go from the forest to a football stadium? We did it! After making Lavi's name our chant, we won! Wait, did we like do the entire race course against the centipede wild tide altogether? Oh. The giant devil centipede agreed to leave after we promised to restore its nest. What? Oh, right. We had to win just to stop it being mad so we could talk to it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Creepy legs aside, it felt nice chanting Lavi's name as we marched along. <laughs> so embarrassing. So embarrassing. How dare you make me participate in this? Oh. Yeah, I agree. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Something makes me want to keep saying it even after the race is over. I'm gonna pinch your cheeks. Meh. Same, right, Lavi? <laughs> no. <laughs> Lavi won't be able to focus if we keep calling their name like that. Exactly. We had to cancel the race due to the giant devil centipede causing destruction. Ah, I knew it. Deva. Why don't we give everyone who joined the race their participation ribbon and bring this race to a close? Wait, I mean, guys, I know we won, but doing my name as a chant, I'm pretty sure you guys just dragged me along. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, and now I need time away from all of them because I'm too embarrassed. Exactly, Queen. <clears throat> like, sure, I, I'm sure the chant helped them, but personally, I would have been too embarrassed to have moved, so they probably just drug me along the entire way. Lavi, good work today. It's unfortunate that we had to cancel the race, but thanks to you, nobody was hurt. Please use the rest of the evening to rest. After all, you did the most work, Lavi. Oh yeah, I'm sure I did. You have been using my name a lot. <laughs> Just noticed that. Oh yeah. Have I? I didn't notice. <laughs> I suppose there's no fooling you, is there, Lavi? Eh. After all, I should know better than anyone the pleasant feeling of your name passing my lips. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. It's almost enough to make me want to keep it all to myself. Bars. <laughs> Won't you forgive these feelings of mine just for today? Damn. Yeah, I can't. I can't not let you use my name now. <laughs> D that was a good common route ending, not gonna lie. What? <laughs> that was good. I okay, I'm gonna say this now already. I like this event a whole lot more than the last couple regular spotlight events. They, uh, they have apparently gotten their shit together for this one. All right, we still have the up route though. So let's see what the, un or the locked one slash like through route is gonna be. And they're off! Rad's Cross Crunchy Race has begun! I'll be providing you with live coverage of the race. Yay! Lavi, are you watching? We're all waiting for a special message from you to cheer us on. <laughs> uh, let's see you push yourselves to your limits. <laughs> I want to see some sweat. <laughs> I want to see a lot of sweat. You hear that, everyone? This has me feeling more motivated than ever. Good Satan sweat. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Lavi has always had their sights set rather high. Mm. Everyone seems to be off to a good start. All that's left to do is watch and make sure everyone crosses the finish line without any trouble. Wow. Well, what is this I'm seeing? Rubble, trouble, right at the start.
Can't even finish the words. Uh, yeah. The trouble happened even sooner in this route compared to the bottom one. Come on, iPad. I know you can do it. There we go. Yeah! A, a sandstorm has come out of nowhere! Sandstorm? Shit. Ah, we're being blown away! No, little Z, no! A sandstorm. Mm. Number two's footage appears to show that a stands, a stand, I mean a stando, a stando storm. We got a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fight going on. <clears throat> I mean, no. A sandstorm has indeed formed. Hmm. This is a devil duster. Number two, are you okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm okay. Okay, good. Take shelter behind something and wait until it passes. Hmm. This kind of sandstorm is common during this time of year, but I checked the forecast in advance to ensure that the day of the race would be amicable weather. Yeah, that doesn't happen in the Midwest, Barbatos. <laughs> and I, it's unfortunate that you guys also have a, a bad Midwest weather forecast in the Double Dumb <laughs> as well. Speaking of, bro, uh, I think it was last... La not, uh, was... It was either last Wednesday or the Wednesday before. <laughs> and I was working from home. And we ended up getting a uh, tornado watch until 9 p.m. And I think that was issued at 4 p.m. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, yep. Mm -mm. It's starting to be about that time for tornadoes. Hate me some tornadoes. Oh, and we had a we had a hailstorm, too. <laughs> We had a hailstorm the same day as a tornado watch. Guys, I hate it here. Mm. The Devil Duster is gaining momentum with no signs of slowing. Solomon's radar is signaling danger as well. Eh? We can no longer guarantee the safety of the racers. Let us call off the race and evacuate everyone to safety. Are we not going to have this race finish in this in this route either? I must make sure there are no racers left behind and find out what has caused this. Lavi, will you lend me a hand? Hey, we're going out there in the field. Let's go literally never experienced a tornado warning before <laughs> yeah i've lived in this area my entire life so when i was a younger it was definitely a lot more frequent um i have not had to take a uh, shelter in quite quite a handful of years uh we've mostly just get watches instead of warnings now but when we are under warning we you have to, you have to be under duck and cover but when i was a lot younger uh, I would do that. Uh, it felt almost every every year or every other year I would have to go in my grandma's basement, and we would have have the radio on to to listen to when it was okay to come out. Blech. There's sand in my mouth. Ugh. At this rate, I'll end up as a sand sculpture. Close your mouth, Luke. Got it. Mm -hmm. Luke, grab Lavi's hand. I'm glad we went for Luke first. Uh. Oh. I, I'm saved. Thank you, Lavi. Lavi, Barbatos. Oh. Solomon, thank goodness you were nearby. Are the routes secured and the racers safe? Ah. The safety radar I set up to monitor the race has issued a warning to the racers. They're all evacu evacuating to safety as we speak. It seems that this isn't the only route where a devil duster has appeared. They've been popping up randomly along the course of the entire race. That's suspicious. Mm. The storm's paths aren't normal. In other words, this isn't a natural phenomenon. I'm fairly certain that something is causing these storms. How dare they interrupt this race? I'm gonna hunt this down. I'm gonna hunt this person down. You're saying that something or someone is conjuring up the devil dusters we're seeing. 
Eh? Solomon, please make sure that everyone gets to safety. I'm personally going to hunt this <laughs> hunt this person down. Deva. Lavi, you and I are going to find the cause of this. They're gonna have hell to pay. They're gonna have a lot of hell to pay. Cause all of the preparation work we had to do for this. Soiled it. Soiled it. Bring me their head. Ripped barbs if we find them. Yeah, exactly. I sure hope it doesn't end up being a, oh, we forgive you kind of thing. I want to see some blood or they need to get locked up because, man, it takes a lot of work to organize this kind of thing. No redemption. No redemption for the culprit, please. I'm hoping since it's Barbatos, uh... This person's gonna get punished. Have you picked up a signal from Salomon's radar indicating the source of the storms? Um... Nothing yet, but I have a feeling that something is over that way. Trust my plant girl guts. Hmm. The radar is silent, but your intuition is trying to tell you something. <laughs> I'm curious to see where your intuition will lead us. If you feel that there is something over there, then over there we shall go. Well, it's definitely Schwindy. We gotta get through the Schwind. Okay, that's a lot of schwind. Can we get through here now? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Maybe my intuition was wrong. Maybe we should not have trusted my intuition because, uh... <laughs> more times, more time with barbs. True! But I'm gonna have so much sand in my hair before we move on. I'm tappy. I'm tappying. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're stuck here forever. Uh... <laughs> Let's explore the area ahead of us later. Shut up, Paimon. <clears throat> <laughs> there is a devil duster of great magnitude headed our way. Oh, cool. We're going straight into the eye of the storm. Yeah, uh, this is my fault. Protect me, BB. Tasukete onagai. Kashikomarimashita. Leave it to me. I'll stay close so as to not get separated. I'll create a barrier to shield us from the storm. The eye is supposed to be the safest, yes, but is it worth getting it? To the center of the storm. <laughs> okay, iPad. I see how it is. The iPad is creating tension because it's having, it's struggling. It's one, one megabyte of storage is struggling. Eh? <laughs> We managed to withstand the storm. Hmm. However, the storm brought so much sand with it that the landscape has been completely altered. Oh, cool, we're lost. Oh, yeah. Hmm? What is that small hollow I see over there? Our footprints are gone. We don't know which way to go. Stranded out in the hmm. middle of a desert with Barbatos? The small hollow appears to be the entrance to a cave. Eh? The winds are beginning to pick up again. Let us take refuge inside the cave until the storm passes. Let's go. I, I see the setup here. Mm. We managed to avoid the worst of the storm, but we're covered in sand. Looks like we oh, yeah. better strip to get that sand out of our crevices, am I right? I can hear water. 
The source may be inside this cave. Let's follow the sound. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. We need to out. I ain't gonna stand for this sand all over me. Like, come on. Isn't that right, Stella? No sand. Oop. Hi, baby. She's like, hello, chat. How you doing? How you doing? She won't let me poop her. She's like, no. You can't poop. Oh. Oh, hi. Hey, good girl. Yeah. Boop. Got you. It's an underground lake. We're lucky. Now we can wash off some of the sand. Yeah, let's go! Might I help brush off some of the sand on you? Yes, please. I'd be happy if you did. Wait, I'll help you get clean? Do. Wait, he asked. I mean, okay, you should. I should oblige him because he asked first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, please. All right then. Let me wet my handkerchief and I'll try to wipe the sand from your face. You could go lower. I don't mind. <laughs> now I'll brush it out of your hair. Both answers are good. They are. Hey yo, your hands feel nice. You're nice and gentle, BB. <laughs> it pleases me greatly to hear that. Please relax and let your mind wander. It's already been doing that. Hella. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm gonna pick these other options right here because I'll be honest, guys. I don't think any other um, options matter aside from these. So I don't think I'll go back and pick the other options uh, from the other chapters, but I'll definitely do it for this one and like the one for the kissies when we get there, right? Because we're mm. getting kissies, right? We better be getting kissies yeah. for this. Yeah. Okay. My turn. I'll help you get clean, good sir. Oh, yeah. You would do that, do that for me. In that case, I will gladly accept your offer. Mm. I do not enjoy the feeling of sand clinging to my body and clothes. I don't either. Who likes having sand in places? <laughs> <laughs> However, your hands feel quite nice. Enough for me to reconsider my dist distaste for sand. Wait, do you want more sand so I can wipe the sand off of you? <laughs> Yo. All right, there is another answer to, to him. So I will also pick that too. Sand massages. That's what it is. It turns into wiping off sand and then it turns into a massage. That's, that's how it's gonna go, right? I'm starting to feel sleepy. Eh? You may sleep if you like. It may be some time before the weather calms. I'll be right here so that you don't get cold. Oh, okay. Oh, that means cuddles, right? <laughs> Let's go. It's gotta be cuddles. <laughs> it's gotta be cuddles. <laughs> nice. Good scenarios. Thank you. I'm eating. We're eating today. Oh my god, it's been such a long time since we ate for a spotlight event. <laughs> oh, we have definitely been starving. 
I'm trying to remember which one. Well, the Beale event was cute, but there definitely was not as much opportunity and good dialogue compared to this one. The, the Beale one was like nice and sweet and maybe a little fluffy. Uh, more innocent, not so, not as much flirting compared to this one. Wake up, wake up, iPad, wake up. We want more. Wake up, wake up. Oh, Yasumi, Minasan. Beal no flirt, Beal no think. <laughs> Hmm. Beale did carry us out, though, of the hotel at the end, which was nice and funny and cute. And we got to sleep next to him. But it was, yeah, it was definitely very innocent. Okay, there we go. It appears that the storm has not yet passed, judging by the strong winds blowing around the entrance of the cave. We'll have to wait here for a bit longer. I checked the weather thoroughly ahead of the race, but I could not predict the formation of a Devil Duster. Solomon believes that this is no natural phenomenon. In that case, it's safe to assume that... There's an evil sorcerer behind this. Like in Aladdin. You know, how Jafar just caused that sand tornado to happen and... He did Aladdin far, far away from the palace. <laughs> eh? Yes, a sorcerer or otherwise, it is very likely that it's being conjured up by magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, Solomon's radar is giving us a signal. Hmm. It could mean that the source of the Devil Dusters is here in this cave. There is something moving in the shadow of that rock over there. Lavi, be careful. Who's y'all's favorite characters that you would choose to smoochies with? I can't choose only one. True. You can choose multiple. Okay, Satan, Barbatos, and Diavolo, for sure. But I also want to give Beale smoochies. Beale deserves smoochies. A lot of the characters deserve smoochies, though. Guess who has two thumbs and is about to get off work? <laughs> I'm, yeah. You know what? I never realized you had two thumbs arcs, right? <laughs> but yay, arcs is about to be home. Then I can give him cuddles. Top three of our Barb's uh, Dia and Satan. Yep, yep, yep. Lucy and Dia. Yeah, yeah. I thought you had one thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Barb's, Delphi, Dia, and Simeon, everybody deserves smoochies. Smoochies on the lips, but I would give, uh, I give forehead kisses to Luke. Uh, I'll go check it out or go see what it is. I'm a big, strong girl and I decide to be, I'll go check it out. <laughs> I can always depend on you to take the lead during times like these. Uh, do be cautious. I'll be right by your side if you need me. All right, who's there? <laughs> I can see the shadow of something moving. It's... Oh man, really? You gonna cut it off like that? I also feel like the chapters, uh, each chapter hasn't been... I mean, they've still kind of been short in certain places, but it doesn't feel like every single one um, has been short like the other, like, last handful of spotlight events. I am a good Yakuza. I have all of my digits. <laughs> you don't have to cut your pinky off yet, Arcs. You would smooch all of the little Ds. I wonder if they would get too embarrassed and just implode, though. <laughs> Levy's also cute when he blushes. He blushes a lot, too. It's a chick of a 
giant dust devil bird? Wait, what? Burb nest? Hmm. Judging from its size, it seems to have only just hatched recently. These birds gain the strength to fly rather quickly after birth, but that does not change the fact that they are still only newborns. Mm. They must stay with their mothers for a couple of months after birth. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the owlbear cub in Baldur's Gate 3. Can we adopt it? Do you think it's hungry? Eh? I do not see the mother anywhere. It probably has not had anything to eat. They say that the chicks will eat anything. Uh, yeah, just like owlbears. <laughs> Dewa. Let's give it some of the emergency rations I brought for the cross-country race. Giant dust devil birds are known, known for their protectiveness of their chicks. There is a chance that the dust devil dusters are being caused by the mother in search of their chick. Wait, really? But it's in this cave. You'd figure like this cave would be like where they would nest. Hmm. Damn it, they really had to make the perpetrator an animal so I couldn't demand its head to be put on a stick. <laughs> Do you think they can eat these nuts? Damn it, Hiki. I'm pressing show. I'm trying to press show for the comment. That is what Hiki commented and I have to allow. It's being out. Show the heck in. <laughs> show the comment, damn it. It's not letting, I'm clicking show, but it's not letting it happen. Okay, there we go. I was lagging, excuse me, my bad. <laughs> anyway, wanted to check in, we'll be home soon. And then you get to play fighting games in Baldur's Gate. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We can't feed them to the pet dragon. No, we can't. <laughs> uh... uh... We should just give the chick back to the mom. Or we could kill the mom like we can in Baldur's Gate 3 yeah. and then adopt the baby, but you know. <clears throat> I also believe that to be the best course of action, kill two birds with one stone, as they say. Figuratively, of course. Or we could do it literally. It seems to have taken a liking to you, Lavi. Perhaps it can sense your kind heart. Oh, yeah? I don't think it's sensing deep enough. We shall bring this chick to its mother and stop the devil dusters. The two of us can do it together. If it was me, I would keep it. Keep them. Yeah, I don't think Solomon would appreciate us. Having them in Kilcutes is hollow, though. <laughs> That's if we're still in Kilcutes Hall at this time period, because I feel like the last event I read, it, it felt almost confirmed that by now in the main story of Nightbringer, we were back in the House of Lamentation. Who knows? He's going to have to cope because I'm bringing him with me. <laughs> Solomon could suffer a little bit more. I agree. I 100% agree. <laughs> For some of the things for some of the things Solomon has done, he could definitely cope with some of our shenanigans a bit better. iPad. Hello Earth to iPad. You're already bringing your pet dragon home. Too late. I've bought a leash for it and I've already named it. I have named it Sully. Sully the Red Dragon. There we go. Yeah. The wind seems to be coming from the same direction that Solomon's radar is pointing us towards. I believe it's safe to say the mother is this way. The storm seems to have passed, but the winds are still strong. Let's be careful going forward. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
The movement of the sand has changed. These grains of sand all seem to be flowing towards a singular point. Hmm. Lavi, do be careful. This is a flaming antlion nest. They are a rare species of antlion found here in the desert. But if you get swallowed up by their nest, there's no escape. I don't like ants. How dare you pull up some ants into this event? Uh, man, this event is just pulling everything uh, I dislike about summer. Ants. Tornadoes. Sand. We have to, we actually have an issue almost every year during the summer. Actually, they're already starting to do it. But our patio, since we live on the ground floor of an apartment, they, uh, ants sneak in from our patio. So we have to put ant traps down all the time. So Stella has to deal with ants coming in because she has her little like cardboard boat near the patio when we're in the living room. She likes to sit in it. She's grooming herself right now. Wow. Look at you. Getting some liquors. Getting some liquor in. Clean your ear. Good girl. You're so hygienic. Oh no, my leg is stuck in the sand. Help me, baby. Eh? And their nests are designed to pull their prey deeper into the sand the more they try to break free. Why are you mansplaining to me when I'm clearly caught? Help me. One wrong move and you'll never get free. Help me. <laughs> what the hell? The nest ends somewhere. We should be fine if we can get out before the flaming ant lion comes back. For now, we should... Bro, let's hold on to each other so we don't get separated. <laughs> eh? Yes, I will protect you no matter what happens. I mean, he could literally just teleport us. He could just make a portal if he <laughs> needed to. <laughs> He's milking this. I know he is. He wanted us to hold on to him. Oh, all according to Keikaku. Hold me tighter, honey bun. Not a single grain, grain of sand can separate you from me, Lavi. <laughs> That's so sweet. But this is hilarious. <laughs> I won't ever let you go. He could totally just make a portal and walk us through it to get us out of this situation. <laughs>
Hmm. I can see something. In the bottom of the nest is... Stella. Stella is at the bottom of the nest. <gasps> this is the last chapter. Uh, how is this going to wrap up? Mm. So the nest was connected to an underground cave. This could be a cave where they store their food or a coincidence. The radar you're holding is pointing further into the cave. Eh? We will likely find the cause of the devil dusters down this path, the mother of this giant dust devil bird. Once we return the chick to its mother, the devil dusters should finally settle. Oh yeah. I can see a small light up ahead. It must be the surface. Let's go. Hmm. The underground cave led us right back to the finish line of the race. I can hardly believe it. What the hell? <laughs> Me too. Oh? It's the giant dust devil bird. It was here all along. Well, let's return the baby quick. We sure did take a trip. Eh. It should be able to fly. Raise it up towards its mother. Go on. Go to mama. Take your child. Take your child back. How did you lose your child in the first place? Let's be real. Bad mother, bad mother bird of the year award goes to the dust devil bird. The voices are cute. I was honestly expecting to hear Cerberus's sound bite from the bird. It made it back to its mother safely. The mother looks happy as well. Oh yeah. The winds have died down. Hopefully this puts an end to the Devil Dusters plaguing our race. Solomon has just informed me that everyone is safe. We may have had to cancel the race, but at least no one was hurt. Damn it! I'm sad. I wanted to see someone win the race. Satan deserved that win, y'all. Satan deserved that win. Eh. The fact that no one was harmed is the most important thing. I could not have done it without your assistance, Lavi. Thank you. Want to cross the finish line with me? Yeah, we went out of our way to take a trip. <laughs> we'll just take the win. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that. We made it to the end together. We should cross the finish line together as well. Let's go. Let, please let us have this. Hmm. I felt a warm wind blowing after we crossed. Could this be the wind, the winds of spring? As long as it's no more tornado winds, that would be acceptable. It appears that the giant dust devil bird is offering us its thanks. Let's take the wind. Let's let the wind take us for a ride. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Da -da 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 -da. I think we get kissies up in the air. Let's go. The iPad really is teasing us today. Maybe the iPad's also angry because it's been a hot minute since I've read anything on it. Right, Stella? Bitch your nose? Oh. I'll just give Stella scritchies. Oh yeah. Oh, never mind. It smells like spring. The change of seasons has come again. And once again, I was fortunate enough to see them change with you. I want to continue watching the seasons change with you by my side, over and over again. This kiss will be our promise. Give me kisses. 
えイエスうん<笑> I'll never forget the warm winds of spring and the press of your cool lips I wish to hold on to you forever for as long as the seasons continue to change I let's go that was good okay I'm gonna choose the other one really quick I just want to see what he has to say Barbatos Barbatos is a very smooth talker I will say, of course. Of course, Ubu. <laughs> when I think about spending another season together with you, I feel excitement for everything there is to come. It is a special kind of joy that only you bring me. I wish to hold on to you forever, for as long as the seasons continue to change. That's still also really good, but clearly the kissies are the winner here. The kissies are a huge winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, that's gonna be it for me reading, but let's discuss a little bit. Let me see if I even have my tea table, like, ready. Let's see, let's see if my tea table's gonna pop up when we switch over to chat. It's here! Okay, good. I didn't check after I moved everything over, so, uh, I was like, fingers crossed if my table was actually going to appear or not. <laughs> so yeah, that was, uh, what was the name of it again? Dust Storm Panic. Dust Storm Panic with Barbatos as the spotlight. Yeah, Stella's down in the corner. What do you guys think? I know I didn't go back and read or choose the alternate options, but since we ended up uh, having a nice chat at the beginning, I feel like uh, it wasn't really necessary either because the other alternative options didn't really seem like they were going to give too substantial of a difference in like dialogue, aside from what I did choose back at in the cave and at like the very final uh chapter for the locked route it was a satisfying event it was amazing really like this event as well good good i'm glad we're like all in agreement that this was actually a really good spotlight event uh cons <laughs> considering the previous ones uh that we have done so far for this year we finally got fed it had been a couple of months let's be honest um it really felt like they were either really lacking in um like story um for the event in the last like handful one handful of like uh spotlight ones um i'm not counting the uh long holiday special events those ones have always been uh pretty good pretty good um, but yeah, they're either really lacking in, like, story reasoning or just, like, trying to convey what they were trying to convey for each event. Um, and, like, sure, we always got, uh, kissy options, but, like, but I don't know if it's greedy for me to say we deserve a little bit more than just kissies, uh, because <laughs> I like some flirty teasy like uh dialogue beforehand as well and we actually did get that for barbatos uh we got a solid event the romance like alone time with barbatos was really like good and balanced out on top of getting the kissy option hi arcs arcs is home hello small hello 
Uh, no, I'm going to do P3 reload at 6.30, so we still have two and a half hours before I do reload. Because I just want to chill for a bit in between. You want to play Infinite Wealth? Yeah, if you want to, go ahead. Okay. Dad's told totally, totally fine. Kiki and Queen say hi, hi, and welcome home. Hello, everyone. I don't know if you can hear me from there, but hello, everyone. My mouth's moving, so I would assume they can hear. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I'm home. Work was fine. I'm now a medium for Arx's voice. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, they could, they could hear you. <laughs> Go do your thing now, man. <laughs> okay, have fun taking a spooky dookie. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Literal months past they released flop after flop. This feels much better in comparison. 100% agree, Hiki. Will already drew 13. I'll add the photo to the Discord at some point. <gasps> yes! I'll be looking forward to it. I'm always excited to see what you guys post in the, the arts part of the Discord, though. Arcs Alron. <laughs> this is why we can't do... um. This is why we can't do streams in the same room, because my microphone would pick him up and vice versa. You would guy, you guys would literally hear like double echo if we did co-op together in the same room. That or we would really, really have to specifically tweak our microphones. Because I know it's possible, but I already feel like I am a soft spoken person. So I feel like if I turn it down any more uh, in terms of range pickup, it's gonna like hella compress my voice in order to compensate. Oh, I need to get into the Discord too. <gasps> yeah, uh, I will drop the Discord link. Uh, actually, do I have this? Hang on, let me see if I've got this as a command for YouTube or not. Let me see. If it does not. Okay, let me yoink the link for you. Art backlog is increasing. This is why I've never continued doing art, Hiki. I'll be honest, I have like five work in progresses. Uh, <laughs> and I just want to do the next thing before finishing what I've already been working on. So that's why I, I can't just, I am not able to do regular <clears throat> art. Well, that's fine. I also enjoy commissioning artists because it helps give them monies and I get cute style back uh, instead. Where the heck is my command for this? I know it's here somewhere. I know the one on which works, so I was just going to copy that. Uh, that. Oh, wait, it's... I'm just gonna go to my Twitch chat and cause it to go off and then just copy that link. <laughs> because that is uses a different bot. There it is. Okay. Copy. I said I said copy. Copy. <laughs> copy the link. There it is. There is the 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 uh, communal discord for the tea break garden. If anybody is interested, we definitely would love to have you with us here. We've got a couple of channels to talk about things like uh, gotchas, Pokemon, fan art. I post pictures of Stella in there as well. Just make sure when you join to go to the rules section and react. Uh, react to the okay at the bottom. Otherwise, you'll only see part of the Discord. Just, you know, don't be, don't be a ding-dong 
in the Discord and you'll basically be totally chill in my book. Because I think there are some people that have joined the Discord, but they have not acknowledged the rules. So they, they only see like the announcement section of the Discord and they don't actually have access to like regular chat <laughs> and everything. Uh, I did that so we don't get any bad uh, buds in the garden that I have to weed out. You know what I mean? Best channel is Stella channel. <laughs> Lavi Kaito is on his way. Yo, what? I'm excited. My art to-do list is building every day. I know, I know, I know, I feel that. I still have a lot of drawing ideas for you, Lavi. I'll draw them at some point. Yeah, no rush, queen. Definitely take, take it at your own pace. Do not force you, do not force yourself to art. Forcing yourself to art or to do anything isn't really healthy in my book. Unless, you know, there's a deadline, which can't really be helped. It sucks, but deadlines suck. It's Stella, not the good girl. Probably check the art part the moment, the moment you enter. Yeah, there's some really, really nice artists in the Discord. I'm super happy that everybody's friendly and like even gives giving tips about doing art in the uh, art section. It takes me ages to do one piece as you draw with materials and they take ages to blend. Yeah, traditional art do be like that. It definitely do be like that. Uh, the last time I did traditional art was actually Chinese paper cutting back in uh, public school, which I really liked. Uh, it hurt the nerve endings of my fingers because of how hard I would put pressure on the paper with my X-Acto knife, but I wanted to make sure I got a really clean cut and wouldn't have to go over it more than once uh, for, for such things. Sounds really fancy. I can post some of it. I think I still have pictures uh, of it. Uh, my family has most of of that framed and hanging up in their houses. I don't have I don't have any of the pieces I made. I either gave them to family or friends. But. Uh, I don't have a projector, and I used the school's projector to be able to to do it, resize the image, and project it onto the paper, and then I'd sketch it out before I did all the cutting. That's the last time I did traditional. My dad's a lot more of a traditional media person. Uh, well, actually, no, now he's kind of done more digital stuff. Uh, but he still really likes to replicate traditional uh, paint painting pieces uh, with like, um, what's the word? With texturing on it and stuff. He's he he's he used to do a lot of color pencil uh, landscape pieces. He definitely more of a landscape artist than uh, above above all else. Me, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just do whatever I think's interesting. I wouldn't really say I have a particular style. Uh, the most recent stuff I've really done is putting the hair textures on Lavi and like the skin textures. All of those I did digitally. Uh, but I really should take time to branch out and do some other stuff instead of just making textures for my 3D model. Agreed. It was really bad when I had to do art projects in college. I wanted to be an artist, and then when I when I took more than one art class in college with all those deadlines, I was like, I give up. I give up. I'm an artist that doesn't want to 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 abide abide by deadlines. <laughs> so that's when I realized I can't make this a job. It's just going to be something I do as a hobby. Otherwise, I'm going to die because of all the deadlines. Still experimenting to find your own art style. Yeah, I. it sounds like a fun process, but it's a lot of research that I don't have time to do because of the full-time job and then doing uh, the streaming as it takes up the rest of my free time for the most part. So I don't 
really have any free time left to like experiment and research. So it's unfortunate, but I'm comfortable in which in in the position in which of the things that I do now. If only I could be a vampire or something. <laughs> I wouldn't have to sleep. The fact that the fact that I sleep anywhere from a, about uh, seven hours to twelve hours a day <laughs> really hinders uh, me in wanting to do <laughs> other things. As a graduate of the College of Fine Arts, being forced to work on art projects really suck. Yeah, that's understandable. I get that. I draw, but school makes me tired. That's also a mood. Very, very much so. It's really... It's... Kind of sucks being a human being. <laughs> Not gonna lie. The mortal coil sucks. And the fact that our bodies require sleep and food is such an annoyance. Just have fun with what you do. That's what that's what matters. I agree. I agree, Samir. I love our ranging sleep schedules in the tea garden. Eight to twelve for Lavi, but for me it goes from one to seven hours. Some people are just built like that. I know. Uh, I know a watcher on Twitch that they said that they can't sleep more than seven hours. Otherwise, they start to feel sick. And then. I can't have any hot food in the morning or smell any cooked food in the morning or I'll start to feel sick. So it really is weird how different things affect people and such, you know? I can't wait till we figure out how to, uh, deal with such things then we'll n then nothing will stop us <laughs> nothing will stop us as the as a human race but you know we got to get over the fact that you know we can't even like accept each other fully first i feel like so that's gonna take way past my life expectancy probably more than likely actually it might never fully happen unfortunately Mine changes. Sometimes I stay awake for like two days straight. Other times I sleep for half a day. I can't stay up ever. It's never really been a thing I could do unless I'm full of adrenaline and excited. Uh, and it's usually about a game uh, that I, I really enjoy. Uh, otherwise, I can't pull any all-nighters. Like Persona 3 Re Reload and Baldur's Gate 3, I could pull all-nighters for. Since those just came out, I can't remember the last time I was able to do such a thing, uh, except when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. Well, Baldur's Gate 3, cough, cough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like, before that, Kingdom Hearts 2 is the last one I remember that, uh, that did that to me. And that was definitely way, way over a decade ago. Way over, that was like 2002, right? Was that 2002 or 2004 when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out? I'm usually delirious when I do stay awake for that long. Fair. I end up feeling like super disoriented uh, if I force myself to do it and it's not like an adrenaline thing. And then even sometimes if I go to sleep afterwards and I do get a lot of sleep, I'll wake up super disoriented. You entered the sculpture as your university major, though you did not like it, but it was fun. Sometimes you gotta take what you can get, any kind of enjoyment that you can get out of uh, assignments. There was one art uh, class, college course assignment I got, and it was uh, pumpkin carving. And I had never done pumpkin carving uh, ever. It's it it was never a thing my family did punk pumping pump pump, pumpkin carving uh so I kind of cheated uh I turned the pumpkin into a zombie uh with melted wax and fake eyeballs 
and I slammed a baseball bat into the back of its head. <laughs> that that was my project. They were <laughs> it was like and I actually got a decent grade on it despite the fact like what I did didn't showcase the point of the project at all, which was your carving ability. <laughs> You did an all-nighter when playing Pokemon when you were little. Can't do that anymore. Pokemon is also really a really good one to stay up for. Oh, jeez. I just poked myself. Okay, I'm good. Ugh. I wish I had the energy. The G Fuel I tried last week helped give, gave me energy i was afraid i wasn't going to be able to sleep after drinking so much of it last week but i was able to thank goodness but i have not really had as much since then i can only maybe have like a, a cup a small cup of g fuel now otherwise i feel like i'm gonna be up for days my pumpkin was art Thankfully, th uh, maybe maybe the teacher just felt bad for me. <laughs> Can I share the graduation project? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and post it in the Discord. I'd be uh, super happy to see it. I've never had G Fuel. Is it good? Uh, the one that I mixed... Uh, last Sunday for Persona 3 Reload it was good. It was just kind of like a... It was kind of like lemonade, the flavor, because it was a citrus strawberry. Uh, but it wasn't like 100% lemonade, if that makes sense. It definitely had more of a lemonade, like, taste. I think it really depends on which flavor you decide to pick as well. I haven't really looked at their tubs to see what other flavors they have. I'm just a Persona 3 simp, that's why I bought it. It was just a plus that the flavor actually turned out to be good. Bet. <laughs> Might have to try it. Yeah, um, I think... I don't know if they have it over in the UK, but I know in the US they sell single cans of G Fuel. So if you just wanted... If you didn't want to spend too much for a tub, you could look and see if there's any single individual cans and just try it that way as well. I know Arx usually prefers the can version uh, until recently, because he used to say when G Fuel was first starting out, their powder mixture kind of left a chalky aftertaste, but I didn't, I did not taste that with the Persona 3, uh, version, so th maybe they have altered their formula now that they don't have that anymore. I was trying to see where are Z other events. I wanted to look at them again. I needed a refresher on a because this one was really good. It's definitely the it's definitely up there in terms of the solo or spotlight events they've released this year so far. I'll be wary of that then. Yeah, I can at least confirm the citrus strawberry, like, Persona 3 tub does not have a cho chalky aftertaste. However, I don't know if it's still available for order. Because Spencer said last week that people are price gouging the heck out of the, uh, Cadenza, like, pack that I have. The one that comes with the Persona 3 Reload um, tumbler and the uh, powder mixture. They're, like, selling it for 
over $125, and it, it actually goes for $40 on G Fuel's website. That's hella price gouging. Okay, let me see. Full playlist. Exciting incidents, bon voyage, absolute zero, poison hunting and candy making, and dust storm panic are the events so far this year. I don't even remember what happened in bon voyage. What happened in bon voyage? It was a Solomon spotlight event. I did like exciting incidents, but that's because I'm Satan biased. So yeah, I would I would probably say so far Dust Storm Panic is probably my favorite spotlight event so far of this year. I wanted to really like poison hunting and candy making. They had a lot of opportunity there, but they did not take take the event in that direction. Absolute Zero was better. I think Bon Voyage is my least favorite so far. There was an event called Bon Voyage. Yeah, it was... I read it right before Absolute Zero and after Exciting Incidents. Hiki. Random thought, what is it with Barb's events being sports-based? Wasn't his event the Van Fangle one? You are correct, Queen. His other one was the Fangle Bowl event, which was basically uh, American football. The Fangle Ultra Bowl. Which was also... I actually really liked it too, though. So I was wondering before reading this if they were going... To, if this was going to be good too, since uh, that one ended up being really good. Barb's events and ball jokes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They never explained why all of the sports equipment wanted to nibble on us either for this event. Bitey balls. <laughs> uh, hey, at least we didn't get a ball thrown at us. <laughs> this event. They just wanted to eat us. Which is a no-no. I do the eating, okay? Me. I'm an Alrane. I am the carnivorous one. You can't do that to me. You can't. But also, I, uh, with the art block thing, I feel that Arx has actually given me uh, the new version of 3D Lavi with the upgraded white dress. I just have not found the time to work on her. Uh, to put in the... Uh, the scripts and everything and the and the hair physics and everything. <laughs> Even though I really need to. Because y'all need to see my flowers finally. It's getting to be springtime and I don't have her ready. And I'm just like, Ugh. maybe I'll see about taking some, requesting some time off from work soon to do that. Maybe Barb's can throw a ball at my face anytime he wants. Yeah, if it's Barbatos, I don't mind taking a ball to the face. <laughs> Any other person, though? I don't think so. It's because Barbatos is very... He's got a very good way... He's got a way with words. I really appreciate his way with words, especially in this event. He got them down. I feel like Barbatos is secretly the smoothest talker out of all of the characters in Obey Me. And I am here for that. Satan's also said a couple of cheeky things, but you could also say Lucifer does as well. But I feel like Satan says it more frequently than Lucifer. Well, at least OG Obey Me Satan has. I feel like Nightbringer Satan, because he's baby boy, um, he's gotten a bit more, you know, jealous. I wouldn't mind being a punching bag for any of the Obey Me cast. Gosh dang it, Hiki. <laughs> 
Hiki can be their punching bag. I can be their, um... Massage therapist. I'm just a simp. <laughs> In terms of simping, I don't know. Who would you let step on you? I feel like the only one allowed to do that is Lucifer for me. Otherwise, I'm the one doing the stepping. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> what? You'd let Mammon step on you. Oh, Higgy. I'll just be there every... Especially the little... Higgy. Oh, my God. Forgot my graduation project picked are on your old phone. Oh, that's okay, Samir. If you're able to recover them uh, sometime, though, down the road, definitely would still welcome them in the Discord. You know what? I actually, I think I would let Asmo step on me. Depends on what Asmo's wearing. Can I be the one stepping on them instead? Yes, queen. <laughs> Even service? No. Can you imagine the amount of drool you would get? Kiki. Hard pass. You don't mind? Nah, hard pass for me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I would only let Lucifer, Asmo, and Diavolo step on me. But I would also be in the in the position of wanting to step on everyone too, so. What did I come into? Even Lotan? No, we don't even know what Lotan looks like. Hey. Oh, 13 also can definitely step on me. I almost forgot about Queen, the Queen. Yeah, no, I think the only one I wouldn't step on would be 13. Only 13 can step on me. Yep, that's it. I would beg her to step on me. <laughs> she would probably be like, okay, I'll I'll step on you if you try out this new um, trap that I am working on. I'm concerned for all of you. <laughs> uh, uh, it's all right, Ivy. It's therapy for us. Don't worry, we're fine. <laughs> I'm concerned for me too. <laughs> We're all concerned for each other. That's great. Yeah, that is. Now we just got to hold each other responsible. I don't think that's going to happen, but you know. Stella has become a ball. Stella's balled up and apy. That's how I feel right now. I think I'm gonna take a small nap in between this stream and Persona 3. We can just hold each other. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> As long as we're making sure to kiss our homies goodnight, I don't see what's wrong with us. Always make sure to just kiss your homie goodnight. She's out of it. Mama, leave me alone. I want to take nappies. Sloppy kiss? I don't know about sloppy. I would give a kiss and a, a friendly nibble. That is what I offer my homies. 
right? She's like, yes, mom. Aw. Am I homies, Lavi? Yeah, everyone in the tea break garden is a homie. A nibble wear, um... Probably your cheek. You know, the, the height... The high part of your cheek, where your cheekbone is? <laughs> yeah, Stella? You just noticed there was a line? She was like, hey, there's a line here. There's a line right, right here. Along, along the bed. Actually, I haven't told you guys this, but Stella actually is not sleeping in her bed correctly. Um, she doesn't like when the border down here is flipped, flipped up and in like this. It's supposed to be flipped in like this, but she won't sit in it if it's flipped up like this. So I had to literally like kind of pull the edges, uh, right side out. She does not like to be uh, bordered around her in her bed. <laughs> Meow. Hi, Arx. What's up? Yeah, just chatting a bit. And then I'm going to call it soon. Yeah, probably leave that one. Did she go say hi or did she leave? Stella left. Stella left. Stella's just particular. She knows what she likes. Yeah. <laughs> she is definitely picky. I agree. She's super picky and a drama queen. But yeah, I'll call it here so I can have some downtime between stream guys. Thank you for joining me for the reading today. Again, I was super happy I was able to actually read this. It turned out really good. I am happy about that. Now I really wonder what we're going to get next, though. Uh, We'll see. We'll see. Still waiting on that Luke one. Will we will we ever get Luke before the year is over? That's the question. That's the question of the year. Are we gonna get a Luke in the Luke spotlight event before the year is over? Stella will probably be back in a couple hours for my next stream. But yes, uh, I will talk to you guys possibly later if you decide to drop by. Otherwise, I'll see you next time you decide to say hello and hang out. I appreciate your time with me. Make sure to have a good rest of your day and take care of yourself, guys. Bye bye.